And in this section, we're going to talk about how you could give policy control to customers. So as far as customer policy control goes, your ISPs can have two main options on how to handle policy control for them. Either you don't have delegation of policy options, which means a customer has no options, they have no choices, and if they want a particular change, the ISP technical support have to manually handle it. Or you could give limited delegation of policy options to the customer. So the customer has certain choices out of a fixed menu. And for those particular choices, the ISP technical support does not need to be involved. The only way to implement the limited delegation is by using BGP communities, the only viable way of offering those control options to customers. So let's look at some a recap of typical definitions of um, communities. This slide shows you some sample communities that will be defined by your by an ISP. So if there's nothing, then there's no community, then there's no community set, just announce everywhere. If there's a community one, then prepend once to all BGP neighbors, two, prepend twice to all BGP neighbors, three, prepend three times to all BGP neighbors, 80, set a local preference of 80 on the customer prefixes, 120, set a local preference to 120 on the customer prefixes, 666, black hole this route please, do not announce it anywhere or announce it with the next hope of now. 5000, do not announce this to any BGP peer. And then we have 5mm and then a number N, which is we're going to look at in the next couple of slides. So the initial communities was discussed at the start of this um, set of videos, but the new communities, 5MMN, are worth covering in more detail. So what this means is the ISP in Autonomous System X documents the BGP transits and peers that they have, which are MM, and they can be 01299. And then the ISP indicates how many prepends they will support. N is a number, so it can be one to nine, but realistically, four prepends is usually more than enough on today's internet because the internet is about five ASs wide. Customers that can then construct communities to do the prepending or announcement blocking that they desire. For example, if a customer tags a prefix announcement with 100 colon 5030, what this means is S100 should not send this prefix to neighbor 03 that you see in red. If the customer tags a prefix with 100, 5102, it means you want a two times prefix announcement prepend to peer number 10, whichever peer that is. Note that in this case, 00 would be things that you want to apply to all peers and this is why we start from 0, 01 to 99 to list the particular peers that they have. This is an example. An ISP in S100 has two upstreams. They create a policy based on the previous slide and they want to allow announcements and up to three prepends. Okay? So they create community lists that match these communities as follows. You have 100, which is permit 100 colon 5,000. Then 101, which permits 100 colon 5001. 102, 100 5002. All the way down, as you see the list, to 123, which permits 100 colon 5023. Now, the 100 5000 is don't announce anywhere. The 100 colon 5001, which means a single prepend to all. Then the community lists for the communities that begin with 501 and then a number. The zero means don't announce to peer one. The 5011 means one prepend to peer one. 5012, two prepends to peer two, etc. Similarly, 5020, don't announce to peer two. 21, one prepend to peer two. 22, two prepends to peer two, etc. To 
implement this, the root maps will look similar to the following. So you'd have a root map BGP neighbor 01, deny 10. Remember the first statement is things that you want to drop. And you match IP community 100 and 110. Anything that is inside those lists will be denied. So all those prefixes will be dropped. Then the next statement is root map BGP neighbor 01, permit 20. And we are matching the communities in 101 and 111. So 101 will have the community that allows you to prepend just once to every single neighbor. And 111 has the community that allows you to prepend once just to the first neighbor, 01. And 20 will have 102 and 112 and 40 similarly. And then at the end, we have a statement, root map BGP neighbor 01 permit 50, to allow all other prefixes unmodified. So for neighbor 2, it's going to be similar to neighbor 1 that we saw on the previous slide. So deny 10 is the very first statement, and we match community 100, which is to drop to every single neighbor, as well as 120, which is to drop all prefixes to neighbor number two. And then the next statement is a permit statement and we are matching 101, which is everyone we need to prepend uh, once. And then 121, we need to prepend once only to peer number two. All the way down to permit 40, which matches 103 and 123 and prepends three times. Lastly, similarly to the previous slide, you have a default permit 50 added to the bottom because root maps have an implicit deny all. So every other prefix will be passed through untouched. So the router BGP session on the ISP will look similar to this slide. So you have the address family is IPv4, the remote AS is 200 for one of the upstreams and then 300 for the second upstream or the second peer. And you apply these root maps on the outbound. For the inbound, you have a different policy, 01 and 02, on the inbound, based on what you've agreed to offer the different peers. So as long as the customer sets the appropriate community, the policy will be applied to their prefixes. So if you're looking at a customer router, this slide shows you what they could probably have, and they're in AS600. And the appearing session with 100 has a root map upstream out on the outbound and of course a prefix list for the inbound. The root map um, has a permit 10. It matches the prefix list that we are interested in and sets the community 100-5010 as well as 100-5023. The second one uh, just matches the aggregate and doesn't set any communities on it. So. 5023 is going to do a three times prepend of block A towards the upstream second neighbor. And 5010 says, do not announce this block A towards the first BGP neighbor. And then the aggregate is going to go to everybody with no specific policy. So in this case, you've given a customer a lot of flexibility into how they could signal to the upstream what they want to be done with the announcement. So the advantage is the customer has flexibility and the ISP technical support does not need to be involved. The disadvantage is this routing policy can upset your internal ISP load balancing tuning. And also you need to have a really well-informed customer who knows how to set these things correctly. So this kind of policy control is very useful, but you should only consider it if your customers are the kind of customers who understand BGP enough that they know how to set these different policies and have the actual need to set it. In the scenario where you handle your load balancing yourself and do not need to offer this downstream, then this customer policy control is not as, as useful.